Yes, I'm coming into the old fishing community in Nyksund where I'm gonna join an older fishing, older classic fishing boat to go out fishing. And I'm so excited because I wanted to do this when I came to the north of Norway. I think that's the heart and the soul of the north of Norway, is the old fishing boats going out. Uh, going on a rib boat just wouldn't be the same thing. Hey, how do you doodly do? My name is Roger and for the last few years I have been sailing in the Mediterranean, but then came Covid and for the time being sailing in Greece is impossible. But when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? So I decided to do the best of it. I took my newly bought camper van and decided I wanted to explore my own country and share it with you guys. In this episode I joined Sjöblomsten for a very lovely archipelago sightseeing cruise in Vesterol. But first, please help me out by subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting. These are free ways of supporting this channel. And if you like to get early access, you may join as a patron at patreon.com slash sailmermaid. Now let's get to it. Play intro. The old fishing village Nyksund is well worth a visit even if you don't go out on an adventure tour like this. They have restaurants with great food, art shop, book cafe and accommodations among other things. Actually just the drive from Myre to Nyksund is worth the trip all by itself. We could not have asked for a better day to go on a cruise like this. Beautiful weather, perfect conditions. Since I was in Vesterolen before the tourist season started, this boat had not yet started doing commercial sightseeing tours. This was kind of a combined test tour and promotion tour where people that work with tourists in the area was invited to join. And obviously, 
I managed to cry my way to join them too. We are now coming into Sheepness, an old fishing community on the island Tinsøya, which is located in the archipelago outside of Myre in Vesterolen. This island has no cars and used to be a farm who kept fishing as a part source of income. But during World War I they built a fish landing facility here, which was served by a 150 meter dock to welcome the fishing vessels. Now they have restored and modernized this place to welcome tourists here with a nice cafeteria and a small shop. And as you can see the kids use these docks too for swimming, despite the cold water. So, what's your name? Hi, my name is Gervan. Um, I'm from France. Yeah. And what are you doing in Norway? What uh, brought you here? I'm spending uh, the summer uh, working in a small village called Nixon. And now I'm uh, on a boat tour uh, in uh, Vesterolen. In Vesterolen, yes. Yeah. Very beautiful region and yeah? impressive landscapes. You've been in Norway for a long time? Uh, this year I arrived, uh, I think, months ago. Yeah. But I've already been in Southern Fjord and stuff. But here it's like very different. Yeah. Like the mountains here are very, very nice shape and intense. Very, yeah, exactly. Intense as well. Yeah. As well that. Yes. So you like northern Norway more than southern part of Norway? Uh, I I would say that uh, I like Norway in general, and I'm yeah. looking forward to visiting most of the, the region. Mm. But uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. This part of Vesterolen and maybe Lofoten are very, 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 very impressive. Yeah. yeah, but you came here for another reason. But now, because of Corona, you ended up working here in Vesterolen and working with tourists at yes. the cafeteria. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm supposed to work in Oslo, but thanks maybe to the coronavirus, I uh, had to delay my uh, my job. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted to go as far as possible from Oslo. So I pick a map and I choose to come here in Nixon because yeah. it's very far from everything and uh, very yeah, yeah. unique. Yeah, and no regrets. No regrets at all. Okay, of course not. <laughs> that's good. And I wish you a very good summer. Thank you. Yes, you thank too. you. English. Oh, in English. In English. <laughs> yes. Uh, you're not the owner of Sjöblomsten, but you're one of the managers. Yes, that's that, right. That's right. Yeah. Party and manager and party skipper on board. Party manager and party skipper, yeah. yes. So, tell me a little bit about Sjöblomsten. It's an old boat, isn't it's it? It's an old boat. It's 105 years old. Started up as a sailing ship, 37 feet long, and ended up uh, like it is today, uh, 57 feet. Hmm. And now you are uh, doing it Tourist service with them. Yeah. yeah. Tourist, mm. wintertime, cold fishing, and uh, summertime, mm. sightseeing, mm. fishing. This trip is planned to take eight hours. Um, and it's a sightseeing between the islands here. Mm. And we have uh, a guided tour with uh, Otto as a guide. Yes, you're the guide. Yes, yes. Yeah. normally I'm the guide. So yeah. we do this guided tour um, around here in uh, Öxnes Westbygd. Mm -hmm. It's between uh, five uh, fishing uh, communities like this, yeah. old heritage. And uh, this tour will not uh, uh, include fishing, but today we will do it for you. Oh, ah, okay. And yeah. And the fishing trips they are um, in the evening, mm -hmm. uh, at the midnight sun, and mm. they take about three hours. Okay. So that's two different kinds of arrangements. Yes. Yeah. And there is fish guarantee. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You always get fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So what about other uh, exotic things? Do we often see seal or whales or? Yeah. You have special yeah, tours for that? Um, not this summer. No. But uh, you can see seals, 
Uh, north of uh, Nyksund, mm. the Arctic Lag of North of Nyksund, between Nyksund and Stö. Mm. There might be sometimes seals. Mm. And whales, they have special seasons where you see them yeah, more? Yeah, in, uh, in November. November. Yeah, but it's mm. far north from here. Okay, yeah. 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 Uh, but if you want to see the big whales, uh, they are also in the Andenes. Ah. Uh, Uh, but they start up the season in May. Yeah. Yeah. But this boat named Sjöblomsten, it has also been a whaling boat, right? Yeah, after yeah. the Second World War, they did uh, whaling at, uh, around Spitsberg. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And it's been a shrimping boat and been used for almost any kind of yeah, activities. Yeah, any kind of fishing. Yeah. 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 And now mostly for tourists. Yes. yes. And it's a heritage boat. Uh, so uh, you have to take good care of it. Yeah. Yes. Inside the boat, you can do some modification, but uh, on deck, um, the escape of the ship is mm. is uh, protected like it is now. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you very much. Likewise. Yeah, congratulations yeah, on the first cup. Yeah. <laughs> Any catch on your GoPro? No, the camera was the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> you have to touch this part. You know, if you are very lucky in fishing, you're not so lucky in love. <laughs> <laughs> Another cod, I think. Yes, another cod. You ready? Before yeah. it drops. Okay. Okay. Captain is the killer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I'm on board Sjöblomsten, an old Norwegian fishing vessel here in uh, Vesterhull. And uh, now the guys behind me, they're trying to catch some fish. They got two cubs already. And uh, I will uh, drop their link in the description down below. So uh, check them out.
It is almost crazy to think of that we arrived back in Nuxund late at night and the sun was still up. Well, thank you for watching, subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it. If you wish to support you may consider becoming a patron. That helps me updating my camera gears and make more videos like this. I'd like to thank all my patrons and supporters, especially my gold supporter Harvey Engvort. Hope to see you next time when I meet an old friend and do some more fishing. See you then. Bye bye.